Hi everyone, I hope you guys are keeping well. Today I'm gonna to talk about annular tear or annular fissure, which is a common condition that many people experience in some stage in their life. Now, the sound of the annular tear or annular fissure, it's a little bit scary, and in this video, I'm gonna explain it for you. What does it mean? What are the signs and symptoms? And what can you do about it? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the anatomy of a spinal column and also the disc and I'm gonna show you exactly what are the different type of annular tear or annular fissures are there and what you need to know about it. I'm also gonna show you how common annular tear is and do you need to be worried about it or not. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist and the purpose of this channel is to help people like yourself with simple tips and exercise for quicker recovery. Make sure to subscribe my channel for my weekly update and press that like button. Your spinal column has 33 vertebra and the top of three quarter of which are separated by disc. These discs, 23 in all, serve to cushion and protect the vertebra. They absorb shock and help to keep the weight in the back evenly distributed. I'm gonna explain for you the disc anatomy. The inside of the disc, the nucleus, is made of a soft gelatinous fluid and the outer half is made of tough connective fibers called the annulus fibrosis. But what is an annular tear or fissure means? As we get older, the vertebral disc can start to exhibit wear and tear, which is a normal aging process. One of the most common changes in the disc could be a tear in annulus fibrosis. The annular fibers, commonly referred to as an annular tear or annular fissure, which means in a normal aging process, in majority of cases, we do have um, an annular tear in some stage in our life. But how common is an annular tear? What a study has shown, annular tear or fissure are commonly identified in asymptomatic individuals during imaging for other reasons. Estimated for annular tear in adult range from a few percentage to up to 50%, depending on the criteria and image used to identify an annular tear. That means out of two people, one of them, there are highly chances of having an annual tear and they be asymptomatic individual, which means they would not have any pain or symptoms. As you watch my previous video, I'm always repeating this, that you should not be too worried about your disc bulges or herniated disc. But the reason behind that is that it's a normal aging process and many of us in some stage will experience that. In some cases, we might not have any pain, and in some cases, you might reproduce certain type of symptoms such as pain or tingling and etc. But in many cases, what you see that works the best is modification changes in your lifestyle, which means getting a little bit active and following your rehab exercise that can help you to slowly build up movement and minimize your pain. In many of my video, I show you a series of exercises to follow and also in this routine, I'm gonna show you a series of exercises to follow. But at the same time, I'm gonna talk about a little bit of management of annular tear and see what are the options for management of it. When we talk about the treatment option and management of annular tear, there are two categories that asymptomatic or symptomatic. If you are in the asymptomatic category and you find out that you have an annular tear in your MRI report and you got panic, in many cases what a study shows that you do not need to be worried about that and you do not need to follow any such treatment for that kind of annular tear. Because what study shows, with time, that actually resolves by itself and with doing certain type of physical therapy exercises, you can manage those symptoms. In this video, I'm gonna show you those exercises and you can follow this exercise right away. When we talk about the management option for symptomatic um, basic category of annual tear, they are divided in two basic categories. There are some of them who has disc herniated and disc bulges, and there's another category that basically they don't have any disc herniation or disc bulges, but are still uh, experiencing annual tear. What a study has shown, the non-invasive option for of management and treatment of these two categories can be again physical therapy and using NSAIDs. 
this is the non-invasive option that we are going to basically recommend you because what a study at the same time has shown with following this protocol you can still manage your symptoms and get better now you might wonder what would be the option of invasive which means if you go through the surgery what would be the options in terms of invasive options such as surgery you might be wondering do you need surgery to get quicker recovery from annual tear what study shows in many cases people do not need surgery for annual tear due to the lifestyle changes and doing certain type of activity can actually help you to improve your condition to look back in 90s when people were getting their MRI report and they were worried about it because they were reported annual tear many people went for a surgery and they were called high intensity zone basically surgeries and many of them were not really successful and latest study has shown that you do not actually need surgery for those high intensity zone anymore because they were used to believe that those high intensity zones were the cause of annual tear and could cause pain and, and symptoms but at the moment you may have those high intensity zone without any basic symptoms which means you might be asymptomatic for that matter we basically create a, a rehab plan for you here today that I would suggest you to do it in a daily basis and this rehab plan can help you to improve your pain and your mobility we're going to start this exercise with back extension or push-ups which is the McKenzie exercise that helps you to improve your pain and mobility if you are suffering from annular tear this exercise can help you to relax your lower back and help you to minimize the pain in the lower back and the glute area you want to apply slight pressure with your hands next to your body and lift your upper body off the ground try to avoid to lifting your hip off the ground you can try this for three sets of eight to ten repetition and work around your own range there's a modification for this exercise that you can do in a seated position if you can't lie down and this basically can help you to get the similar extension and hyperextension in your lower back if you're suffering from annular tear you can start your rehabilitation with adding more core exercises into your routine what a study and research has shown in chronic back pain core exercises can be helpful in terms of pain and mobility I'm going to show you a mini sit-up routine that you can literally start activating your core and slowly build up this exercise can help you to engage your abdominal and core muscle gradually and as you can see I'm not lifting my shoulder off the ground you want to gently put your opposite arms underneath of your lower back and with slight lift off the ground engage your core and abdominal muscle you can try this for both sides and try to do this exercise for three sets of eight to ten repetition in each side try to avoid holding your breath or tensing your neck We are going to move on to the hamstring stretch which is a great exercise if you're suffering from annular tear or if you're suffering from disc bulges hamstring stretch as the way that i show you can help you to minimize the pain in the lower back and also neutralize your nervous system this movement can be done in both sides as you can see you can gently hold on your knee and try to apply I mean slight pressure towards the body and slightly extend the knee to the point that you feel comfortable if you find there is a pain in one side you can gently try this exercise and gradually progress it if you're suffering from annular tear you can progress your routine to bird dog which is a great core exercise routine for your lower back this exercise can help you to strengthen your core and minimize the pain in your lower back I've simplified this exercise with two-point bird dog which means you're just lifting the opposite arms and hands off the ground initially and you slowly progress that to the full movement while you're lifting off your hands and your legs off the ground 
you want to maintain your lower back, stabilize your core, and breathe at the same time. You can gradually, after you find this exercise comfortable, do the full bird dog movement. You can try and practice this exercise in one side and gradually build up in both sides. You can try this exercise for three sets of five each side and gradually progress it to eight to 10 repetition. Bird dogs can help you to improve your core strength and also help you with pain and mobility. We are going to move on to the side plank, which is a great core exercise if you're suffering from annular tear. You're gonna lie down on your side, an elbow gonna be under the, your shoulder, and you wanna start with the knee side plank, which means you don't straighten your leg. This exercise can help you to simplify the side plank and be able to show you how you can actually start this routine. You can practice this exercise for three sets of eight repetition and hold it for a couple of seconds. While you're doing this exercise, make sure that you are not holding your breath and you're not looking down or you looking up. You wanna relax your neck and keep it in a neutral position. The side plank can help you to activate your core muscle and oblique muscle, which is our important point for your body while you're experiencing an annular tear or disc bulges. You can practice this exercise for both sides in a daily basis. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you have any question regarding animal tear or disc bulges, please leave me comments underneath of this video and I would be happy to help you. Make sure to subscribe my channel for my weekly update and until next week, all the best.